In this video, we're going to talk about the probability distribution table. So usually you have a random variable, okay? Uh, in this case, the random variable describes what are you observing, let's say the number of cats, all right? And here, let's say you observe no cats, one cat, two cats, three cats, depending, let's say four cats, depending on how many uh, people you observed, right, over a long period of time. Usually probability distribution tables are tables that are models of what you're trying to study or historical data that you've had for you know a long time. So n is very large usually. And then you have a probability, small p, and then capital X, which is this right here, equals the small x, which is this right here. So probability, let's say overall, you've spoken to people and, you know, you, what's the probability that you spoke to somebody at random that have no cats? Let's say that um, uh, you have a point two zero, okay? Then you talk to a, um, a bunch of people, right? And you find out that um, at random, what's the probability of a person having one cat? You know, we'll say 0 0.50. And then probability of, so here, this one right here, like this, right? And probability of two cats, let's say 0 0.20. And then probability of three cats, 0 0.05. And probability of four, let's say this. So I'm making these numbers up. So you got uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this should sum, okay? This should sum to one, right? So because this whole thing is equal to one. So now you can do something like what's the probability that at random, right, you choose a, um, a person that has two cats, and you would say 20, a point zero, a point two zero or 20%, okay? All right, so that gives you a little bit of a description of a probability distribution table. All right, good luck, bye-bye.